Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I rise not with some further questions for my good partner in GAE, uh, Representative Fox, but I do have some comments that I would like to make regarding this bill, which as we've heard and as we see is called an act concerning finance reform. For years, for years, the majority party has felt so strongly about instituting a taxpayer-funded campaign finance program. And over 10 years ago, that program was put in place. It was the strongest program in the nation. It was designed to make elections cleaner. It was designed to make them more fair. And it was designed to increase participation in elections. But since that time, there have been repeated actions taken to weaken the program and advantage the majority party. Let's just start with a few years ago when the legislature was called to a special section for a bill that was fondly called get more money for the governor's campaign, happened to be during an election cycle. We can look at ad books. Ad books were banned. Oh my goodness, but then we found out, shoot, those contributions add some value. What do you know? Ad books are back in. How about state party contributions? Those were prohibited too. Those were limited. But just recently, we had a state senator that benefited from over $200,000 in state party contributions, even while they were receiving a Citizens Election Program grant. Over time, there have been so many holes pushed in, pushed through our campaign finance laws. It looks more like Swiss cheese. And if there's not a loophole to be found, another hole will be just pushed through anyway. The good chairman and my friend said that this bill would increase transparency but not completely, not nearly at all. We talked about contributions to Labor United. Yep, sure, there's PAC contributions, and those PAC contributions fall under the required reporting requirements. How about treasury sweeps? How about treasury contributions from unions to organizations like U Labor United that provided extraordinarily aggressive campaign tactics against my colleague, our colleague, Dr. Pettit, and others? You know, for the first time, probably in the history that we can recall, new organizations did get involved in the past election. And you can bet that they did, because the people of this state are sick and tired of the policies that keep being pushed on our residents and businesses that are pushing them out of our state. The shift in the election results that have resulted in 72 seats on this side of the chamber didn't result because there was more money put into campaigns. It resulted because people have had it. The only thing that this is an act concerning campaign finance, it's not campaign finance reform. We have the opportunity to do that and we're missing it. So I will not be supporting this bill, and I encourage everybody in this chamber to think long and hard and deep and to do the same. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you, Madam.